welcome dear students we are going to learn up learn from class 9 mathematics chapter 6 lines and angles part 2 dear students today we are going to discuss about linear pair axiom 2 in earlier class we have discussed about axiom 1 and vertically opposite angles before going to discuss about this let's recapitulate the what we have studied earlier that is a part of a line with two end points is called a line segment a part of line with one end point is called a ray an angle is formed when two rays originate from the same end point an acute angle measures between 0 degree and 90 degree a right angle is exactly equal to 90 degree an angle greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called an obtuse angle a straight angle is equal to 180 degree an angle which is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree is called a reflex angle two angles whose sum is 90 degree are called complementary angles and two angles whose sum is 180 degree are called supplementary angles two angles are adjacent if they have a common vertex a common arm and their non-common arms are on different sides of the common arm if the non-common arms of two adjacent angles form a straight line then the angles are called linear pair of angles basing on this we have an axiom that is if a ray stands on a line then this sum of two adjacent angles so formed is 180 degree so we have studied up to this now you read the last statement again if a ray stands on a line then the sum of two adjacent angles so formed is 180 degree what is converse of this statement if the sum of two adjacent angles is 180 degree then the non-common arms of the angles for a line so if the angles are adjacent and their sum is 180 degree then non-common arms of those angles must lie on a straight line you can uh, verify it by drawing now in which of the following pairs of adjacent angles non-common arms form a line let's have a look at the pairs of angles angle aob is equal to 81 degree and angle boc is equal to 79 degree here the common vertex is o and the common arm is ob non-common arms are oa and oc now you see sum of the angles 81 degree and 79 degree is 160 so as the sum is not 180 so the non-common arms will not lie on the same line pbq is equal to 65 degree and qbr is equal to 115 degree in this case the sum is 180 degree so the non-common arms will lie on the same line or will form a line angle xyt is equal to 95 degree and angle tyz is equal to 105 degree the sum shows that it is 200 degree which is not 180 degree so 
the non-common arms will not form a line. These two axioms are called the linear pair axiom. Now, let us have a application of these two theorems, two axioms. Here is the theorem. If two lines intersect each other, then the vertically opposite angles are equal. In the last class, we discussed about what are the vertically opposite angles. Today, with a, this theorem based on this. AB is a straight line. CD is another straight line which intersect each other at O. So, they lead to two pairs of vertically opposite angles, namely angle AOC and angle BOD. And the second pair is angle AOD and angle BOC. To prove this, what to prove here? We have to prove that vertically opposite angles are equal. That means, angle AOC is equal to angle BOD and angle AOD is equal to angle BOC. For this, let us start the proof. Now, you see the ray OA stands on the line CD. So, a linear pair is formed. So, angle AOC is a plus angle COD is 180 degree that is from linear axiom, linear pair axiom. Let the number of this equation be 1. And ray OD lies on the straight line AB. So, angles formed are angle B AOD and BOD. So, sum of these two adjacent angles is 180 degree again by the same linear pair axiom. Let the equation be 2. So, from equation 1 and 2, we can write as both of the, them have 180 degree in their right side. So, left side must be equal. So, angle AOC plus angle AOD is equal to angle AOD plus angle BOD. This implies by subtracting equals, which are the equals on both sides, angle AOD. So, subtracting the equals from both sides, we have angle AOC equal to BOD. What was AOC? AOC was this angle and BOD is this angle. So, AOC and BOD are vertically opposite angles and we proved that angle AOC and angle BOD are equal. Similarly, by taking OB as the uh, ray and CD as the straight line, we can also prove that angle AOD is equal to angle BOC. Let us have some, uh, let us solve some problems basing on this. Here is a question. The lines PQ and RS intersect each other at point O if angle POR is to angle ROQ is equal to 5 is to 7, find all the angles. Let us draw two lines PQ and RS. Let them intersect at point O. Given that P O R is to R O Q is equal to 5 is to 7. So, let 
angle P O R is equal to 5 X and angle R O Q as 7 X. Now you see P Q is a line and O R stands on it. We can write like that O R ray stands on PQ line. This implies angle POR plus angle ROQ is equal to 180 degree. Now substitute the values of POR and ROQ that is 5x plus 7x is equal to 180 degree. That gives 12x is equal to 180 degree which again says that x is equal to 180 degree by 12 that is 15 degree. If the value of x is 15 degree then what is POR? Angle POR is equal to 5 into 15 that is 75 degree and angle ROQ is equal to 7 into 15 that is 105 degree. Now POR and SOQ are vertically opposite. So we can write angle SOQ is equal to angle POR is equal to what is value of POR 75 degree. We can write here vertically opposite angles. Similarly, POS and ROQ are also vertically opposite angle. So, we can write angle POS is equal to angle ROQ is equal to 105 degree. The reason is same that is vertically opposite angles. In this way by using the theorem that is vertically opposite angles are equal we can solve this example. Now let us see another problem. In this case OP, OQ, OR and OS are four rays. Prove that angle POQ, QOR, SOR and POS sum of these four angles is equal to 360 degree. OQ, OP, OR and OS. In this question, how to prove that sum of all these four angles is 360 degree. Now here, let us have a construction. Let us extend this to back side so that and let it be T so that this QT be a straight line. So, we can write like say what to construct extend OQ towards O up to T. Then to prove as it is given we have to prove all this sum of these four angles 360 degree angle C T Q T Q is a straight line and O P ray stands on it. 
as OP rest stands on edge, so we can say that angle POT plus angle POQ is equal to 180 degree. Now again, PQ is a line and OR is the ray. on it. Then what are the linear pairs in this case? Q O R angle Q O R plus angle R O T is equal to 180 degree. Now if you take the sum of these two equations, say equation 1 and equation 2, so from the sum of equation 1 and 2, we get on left side we have POT angle plus POQ angle plus Q O R angle plus R O T angle is equal to 360 degree. What we have to prove? P O R, here it is P O R. What is P O? P O Q. P O Q is there here. Then Q O R, Q O R is there and ROS, ROS is not there and ROT, ROS and POS, POS. Now you see POT and ROT. What is POT and ROT? ROT can be written as, say POT is as it is plus POQ is at, as it is, QOR is as, as it is plus but ROT can be written as ROS plus TOS. ROS plus TOS. This is equal to 360 degree. Now, you see POT, POT, this one and TOS, TOS, these two constitute angle POS. So POS angle plus then POQ angle plus QOR angle plus ROS angle is equal to 360 degree. This was our question to prove POQ plus QOR plus SOR plus POS is equal to 360 degree. So, this is the solution. Now, let us have another look to this question. Here line AB and CD intersect at O. If angle AOC and BOE is equal to 70 degree and angle BOD is equal to 40 degree, find angle BOC and reflex angle COE. Here, AB and CD are two straight lines and 
intersecting at O. OE is a ray on it. Then angle, what is given? Given angle AOC plus angle BOE is equal to 70 degree. And angle BOD is equal to 40 degree. Now, we have to find the some angles to be given. We have to angle find angle BOD, uh, BOE. We have to find the angle BOE and reflex of angle COE. Now you see AB and CD intersect at O. As two lines intersect each other, we have vertically opposite angles to be equal. So, in this case, angle AOC is equal to angle BOD because they are vertically opposite angles. And we know the value of or the measure of angle BOD that is 40 degree. That is 40 degree. This implies angle AOC is equal to 40 degree. So, this angle now it is 40 degree. And we know that angle AOC plus angle BOE is equal to 70 degree. If we substitute the value of AOC here, we have 40 degree plus BOE is equal to 70 degree. That means BOE is equal to 70 degree minus 40 degree that is 30 degree. So, value of BOE is 30 degree. Now, we have to find the value of COE. AB is line and OE ray stands on it. That means they form a linear pair that is angle EOA plus angle EOB is equal to 180 degree. This implies what is EOA? This is again a, an equation which is formed by two adjacent angles that is COA and COE. So, we can write EOA as AOC plus angle COE. AOC plus COE plus angle EOB is equal to 180 degree. Now, What is angle AOC? Angle AOC is 40 degree plus angle CEO, COE plus angle EOB is EOB or BOE is 30 degree. This is equal to 180 degree. This gives 40 plus 30 70 degree plus COE is equal to 180 degree. That gives angle COE is equal to 180 degree minus 70 degree is equal to 
110 degree. What is asked in the second part of the question? It is asked to find the reflex of angle COE. So, reflex reflex COE is equal to 360 degree minus COE. That is 360 degree minus 110 degree that is 250 degree. So, reflex of angle COE is 250 degree. Okay? So, this is the solution of this equation, this question. Now, let us have a look to another question. In the figure, POQ is a line, ray OR is perpendicular to line PQ, OS is another ray lying between rays OP and OR. Prove that angle ROS is equal to half of angle QOS minus angle POS. So, PQ is a line angle ROQ is formed by the line uh, the, by the ray standing on it that is OR and OS is another ray. To prove, what to prove? We have to prove angle ROS is equal to half of angle QOS minus angle POS. Now, let us see what is QOS and what is POS. QOS, we can write angle angle QOS is equal to, we can write QOS is equal to angle QOR plus angle ROS. See, angle POS and ROS are adjacent angles. So, ROP is equal to ROS plus POS. From that we get angle POS is equal to angle ROP minus angle ROS. Now, let us subtract it. As here it is given to find the difference between these two QOS and POS, we have to subtract it. By subtracting, let us change the sign of it. So, we can write in left side that is QOS minus POS is equal to QOR minus R O P plus R O S plus R O S. Now you see in right side what is the measure of angle Q O R? Q O R is 90 degree. So, 90 degree minus what is ROP? ROP is also 90 degree as ROP and ROQ are linear pair. PQ is the line, OR is the ray on it. So, these two are linear pair. One of the angle is 90 degree. So, other is angle is also 90 degree. So, ROP 
is again 90 degree plus ROS plus ROS is 2 ROS. Now you see angle we can write that 90 degree and mi minus 90 degree cancelled. So 2 angle ROS is equal to angle QOS minus angle POS. So angle ROS is equal to 1 by 2 angle QOS minus angle POS. So this is the solution of this question. Dear students, today we learned about the linear pair and vertically opposite angles are equal and using these uh, axioms and uh, theorem we proved some of the questions to students. It is time now. Have a good day. Thank you.